Hello, good human. Hello, welcome to another episode of Odd Man Out. What are we wearing? We're wearing the good, good human, human sweater. Yes, you guys right. asked for it. We got like so many DMs from people asking for the sweater. So we are dropping another limited badge available on goodhumanla.com. That's right. Yeah. We love it. We hope you love it. It allows us to make more videos as well. So thank you for that. And for now, enjoy this episode. All right. Anybody What's your favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Name one. Nerd Sour name, Patch just name Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't vegan. We brought together seven vegans. I am vegan. I am vegan. I'm a vegan. I am vegan. I am a vegan. I am a vegan. I am vegan. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. Okay, Brandon, yes. what do you eat for breakfast? This morning I had buckwheat, buckwheat hot cereal, add almond milk and some water. Okay. Who eats buckwheat in the morning? Like, I know people do, but I'm looking at him and his body language and how he's telling me and I'm going, you just had buckwheat? <laughs> I eat buckwheat every single day for breakfast and I feel like that's a normal thing. But everyone acted like it was a weird thing. Um, I'll be honest, I eat everything on bread. I have to. Because like, I just, I'm a recent vegan. I've been vegan for like five months. It's a challenge I did for myself. I have a question. Yeah. What are y'all's favorite restaurants? If you guys check out North Hollywood, this is just, like awesome. It's really, it's Cajun vegan. Oh yes, uh, yes. You know, um, dude, I literally been taking. Oh my gosh, I talk, I took it? my friend Hannah. Or, She's or, 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 actually a big or, 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 YouTuber something. as well. Everything that came out of his mouth was super random. Brandon, what's your favorite like, restaurant? My favorite. I go to Taco Bell all the time. Yeah. What do you get at Taco Bell? Taco I get a Crunchwrap, but swap out the beef and get some beans in there. So also swap out the sour cream and the cheese. And yeah. Don't they use eggs beans. in their like in their wraps? I hope they don't. Yeah, but I hope they don't either I'm, because then that wouldn't be vegan. I don't know why she was coming at me. I don't know if it's like the way I look. I don't look like a vegan. Um, why is everyone here a vegan? I'm vegan because I actually moved out here. I felt like I was like, all right, if I mess up, I can keep on doing it. So I challenged myself on five months in and I was like, all right, I'm gonna continue doing it. Because if you I You guys, don't... we have four minutes left. Sorry oh, to interrupt yeah, sorry you, but we have four minutes. Sorry. I want to hear from oh, other sorry. people. Sorry. I want to know. The only reason I did it can is you... because I wanted to can, can you, can you, just, we got, sorry. we got it? Sorry you, let's that. go around. Yeah. So, Jalen was just taking up all the time so that I couldn't find any information about anybody. I'm vegan because of the environment. I think the meat and dairy industry just contributes way too much to our environmental issues. And so that's why I decided to go vegan. I've been vegan for almost three years. I kind of just followed like blogs and stuff and then I found out I had like high cholesterol. I like cold turkey, just like quit it. The more I learned about it and educated myself, the more I wanted to keep going. I initially went vegan for my health, for my skin. It's kind of helped, it hasn't helped that much, but I think just when I was doing it, I was like, why go back? Kind of like you, like I could do it and I don't think there was a huge like pressing environmental factor. It was just like, I can do it right now. So That's why exactly go back? And it's like been good. So it's almost been like a year. Mm -hmm. So kind of similar to you. Good, good job, yeah. man. I uh, became vegan for um, animal cruelty reasons. It's a whole bunch of stuff, you know, you can go into. But yeah, for animal reasons and environmental reasons and health reasons. So I've been vegan for almost 10 years combined. Um, started off when I was 21 years old. I was drinking heavily and I just wanted to be feeling like better in my body. So I took a yoga class, went vegan overnight, went raw vegan for two years, uh, became a raw food mm -hmm. chef. I'm a yoga teacher now, um, yeah. I went vegan kind of as like a transition. I was pescatarian for 10 years. Um, and we have two minutes. Um, I want to, so, can we ask, oh, not, I don't want to cut you off, yeah, but I want to ask specific sorry. questions to people. But. What is your favorite documentary oh. that helped you go with the? Oh, help me go vegan? I kind of watched like those YouTube ones. Which ones, like what, what name one? I don't remember the names. I like saw them in the blogs that I was talking about and like. Which blog? Um, it was called, it was like this girl, her name, is Emma. I gave her the side, I like, hmm, you don't know what blog, you don't know what post, you don't know this, you don't know, you don't know anything. I watched the VR. This actually helped encourage me. And I watched um, from a first person perspective. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, um, Ooh. cows getting oh, butchered. No. From, you could see them getting cut up. Six, Red five. Five. Uh, So like that four, was three. really traumatizing. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> 
she had a little more makeup on and she had nail polish on and so I guess in my head I think vegans just go for the more natural sort of look. I was like looking for some cues and like what people were wearing and he was wearing like suede shoes. Most like vegans don't really wear leather. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. It was Bye. Nice Bye. to know you guys. Take it easy. I was really shocked. I think I was a little bit shy in the beginning. When Aaron was grilling me, um, I just got really nervous and like I forgot the names of everything and I was like, there's cameras here and like everyone's watching me and like the time is ticking. What is your favorite soap that you use? Oh my gosh. I'm more vegan for like food related reasons. Maybe right, kind of but typically like if you're vegan, yeah, then you know, know you use all your products that you love. I identify as vegan, but I do it more so for food related reasons, not exactly, because I like did it for my health. So I that's actually why. fully agree with you. Yeah. Do you wear leather? Uh, I don't own leather. It's interesting, I own leather, but I don't buy leather. It's leather that has been bought years ago that I still have, that mm -hmm. I feel is kind of like wasteful to like throw away. The important thing is you don't buy yeah. leather because we vote with our dollars. Exactly. Ooh. I think like in this circle, like there would still be people who like identify themselves as vegan, even if it's like food related or like something else. Like the range is like but There's like cold. levels, yeah. Yeah, but I think like the odd man exactly. out wouldn't be someone who like yeah. is like me, like just doing it for food. You guys, yeah, yeah, you guys always ask me questions too. I like questions. We know you do. Do you eat honey? <laughs> do you, I actually honey don't even, like, I don't eat honey. True. Yeah, I, I don't, I just don't at all. I eat honey, kind of but. Honey isn't fast. vegan. I think they made me feel like my reason for being a vegan wasn't good enough because it wasn't coming from the same place that they were. I have a question. Yeah. So, okay, everyone think about their immediate circle. How many folks in your circle are vegan? I'm supported by my circle. Yeah. Like they thought I was unhealthy at first because mm -hmm. I wasn't getting enough to eat. Mm -hmm. um, and I had hor horrible gas issues. Um, that was, that was, hor I was bad, but um, <laughs> I mean. I actually real, didn't even know that was a thing. So, it's, it's, like, I it's mean. real dog. So far you've said that you like don't that. really consider yourself vegan I think because if I of were the products you use. Yeah. And I then you like eat at Taco lying, Bell. I would like go like the extra mile and like lie and like say a lot of stuff, but you know, like, I'm just like being real with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I try I'm, my best so to how many, like, be So how many vegan. years have you been vegan? Oh no, it's been like less than a year, like eight months. Actually, the, the fresco style at Taco Bell is supposed to be vegan. I did, he didn't mention that. He said that he got the taco and then he removed everything and then yeah. he mentioned that later on. I have seen vegan YouTubers who like go to Taco, Taco Bell like and like can make it vegan vegans. just to show yeah. people that like it can be like Not convenient. So I don't know why you guys are. Oh, I'm trying to yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. like, no, no, Wait, we have two minutes left. And then Del Taco yeah. also has Del Taco, Del Taco the Beyond Meat. Has the Beyond Meat. Why don't you go like there if you're week. vegan? I thought Erin was pretty aggressive, but in all the best ways for a game like this, like she asked all the like heavy hitting questions, which is exactly um, how it should have been. Anybody What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Nerds. Like name one. Name one. Nerds, Sour Nate, Patch Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't yeah. vegan. I thought they were, but not sour patch do they kids. not have do they have gelatin not in them? Sour Patch Kids. I okay, maybe I'm not a vegan. I don't <laughs> like I don't I don't. <laughs> I thought they were. But I mean, you know. What's your favorite candy? I don't eat candy. Really? Same. Yeah, I don't. It didn't seem that his ethics and his values were in alignment with the diet because typically when you are vegan, everything surrounding you matches that. Bye guys. Bye Brandon. See ya. I'm not like really a part of the vegan community, I feel like. I have one vegan friend. I could have had five vegan friends, but they voted me out, so. I think those were the obvious ones. Uh, I mean, oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. I think we need like one Guys. more. Wait, like, oh, so we raise our hand if we think he's still in here? Yeah. I think they might. I don't know. <laughs> she was like doubt, and I was like, oh, no. Okay. But no, I think no. 
Okay. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the square. If the lights turn green, you voted the liar out. If the lights turn red, the liar's still in the box and you lose. Okay, everyone looks nervous, so I feel a little bit more secure in this. Oh, shit. Dang, dog. Oh, oh, oh. I found the mole. So. <laughs> <laughs> so upset. I literally whispered to Aaron, I think it's Jalen, I think it's Jalen. So I'm a little mad, a little sour, a little broke. <laughs> I've watched too much Survivor, man. Like, <laughs> first round, getting thrown in, I was tested to see if I was gonna trip up on my words, how much knowledge I actually had. So I'm like, if I go first, I can speak the most and make it seem like an accident. So I just want time to run out. So it felt good because people got annoyed and they didn't want to hear from me. So they pushed me aside and started talking to everybody else. I got one from my fam. I got one from my fam. I got one from me, one from my new Xbox. All right. I'm pretty frustrated because I think I could have won if I hadn't just been affected by everybody else's doubtfulness. I was um, reminded of the different perspectives of veganism. I don't think you can really like see a vegan. It's more like their thoughts and like their ideology and how they think about the world. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, we really appreciate it and we love making this stuff for you. Um, Absolutely love it. Tell us what you thought in the comments below and also tell us your episode ideas. We do read all the comments. People think we're some kind of giant corporation, but we do. We read them we're all. We're actually <laughs> humans, we're not robots. Anyways, we'll see you guys around and uh, peace out. Bye guys.